Good afternoon, Dr. Silva. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for joining the program today. Thank you. So, um, where are you from, actually? I'm from uh, Kuala Lumpur. Not Indiana? Uh, okay, originally, um, my grandparents were from Sri Lanka. Oh. Uh, so, they settled in uh, Malaysia. Uh -huh. So, I'm uh, considered to be third generation Malaysian. Ah. Oh. So, actually, original from Sri Lanka. That's right. So, are you a specialist in, in medical doctor or specialist in iron or uh, obsession or what? Okay, okay. I'm uh, uh, in general medicine. Yeah. And uh, now I do what we call integrative medicine, where we combine uh, allopathy uh -huh. okay, with uh, complementary medicine. Uh -huh. Okay. So, Offering you study something related to alternative or complementary medicine? Yes. And to compare, to compare to with to the Western style, to complement, to to integrate. Ah, I see. Together, so integrative medicine now is uh, uh, an emerging field, uh -huh. and is becoming very popular, especially in the United States. It's more accepted. It's very well in accepted. The West, yes, and in Asia, uh, it's gaining popularity. Uh -huh. In the West now, most medical schools have a department of integrative oh, medicine. Oh, does mean we can take the knowledge from many parts and come to integrate, That's make right. it together. Exactly. So it's popular in the West. Yes. Right now, right. and they have special faculty. That's right. Uh -huh. And then, so uh, now you are studying about energy. Yes. คุณหมอก็ศึกษาเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของพลังงานนะครับ. Uh, so could you explain what is energy medicine? ผมก็เลยบอกว่าคุณหมอช่วยอธิบายหน่อยได้ไหมครับว่า. Okay. Uh, now um, we term energy medicine to be uh, the energy that uh, that is present in what we call the subtle energy system so the the current thinking is that what what is system subtle energy subtle subtle that means it's not in the gross form uh. you see what so far what we understand and what we know is for example if we contract our hand uh -huh. okay we, we flex our hand uh. so that energy expenditure is is gross form is it's just understand. like or we know energy by our action exactly you know but now you try to explain it's come by without our action mm, exactly and what we can't see with our gross I see eye. From the concept of energy medicine, what happens is that uh, the theory is that before the disease presents in what we can see, ah. there's actually a disturbance in the energy pattern. Ah. Okay, so that means disturbance in the energy field ah. then uh, results in actually illnesses. Ah. So in order to rectify this, you need to balance your energy. I see. So you mean, you mean before the disease present before the disease appear that's right and make you sick exactly so this energy will protect before no this there's actually a disturbance in the energy ah you know so disturbance in the oh, energy I see, I see. before actually happens way before it presents as a physical illness ah. that's now the thinking of energy medicine ah. and so what they are saying is in order to do this we need to rectify this disturbed energy patterns ah. in advance ah you know so to to mm. protect to protect ah. and to prevent uh -huh. So that is mean uh, this energy would disallow those diseases to have an action to disturb your body. Yeah, more or less. Uh -huh. So to, to just to sort of emphasize uh, how big this field is or how important it's become, um, this doctor by the name of Dr. Norman Shealy, he says energy medicine is the future of medicine oh, okay this uh, this uh, this energy that we're talking about you know which is not the, the, the subtle energy it consists of our uh, energy wheels mm -hmm. okay it consists of the energy channel mm -hmm. and the multi-layered uh, shell which uh -huh. is around us okay mm -hmm. now the term that best describes the energy that flows in this system you, is uh -huh. called scalar energy all right uh, it radiates outwards in circles ah okay so like this exactly ah. radiates outwards in circles ah. so uh -huh. it's expansive in in nature uh -huh. all right and and very interestingly this energy is actually able to repair ah. and rebalance that means if it's weak or you are supposed to repair and rebalance oh, very but good. there's a catch ah. the catch is because of our lifestyle ah. too much stress ah. poor nutrition ah. too much uh, EMF uh, like handphone uh, uh, too much electrical equipment okay. so the body then is not able to repair and rebalance I optimally see. I see you know mm. so just like refresh yourselves yes. rebalance that's right okay but the problem is like I said earlier mm. now we are not able to do that job well mm. because of all these factors like stress mm. too much EMF mm. uh, nutritional deficiency mm. etc uh. so what 
we should be able to repair and rebalance ourselves, so uh, we can't. So uh, when we can't repair and rebalance ourselves, there's a disturbance in the energy pattern like we talked I earlier. See, I see. And that then sets the uh, base mm. for a disease process okay. from the perspective of energy okay. medicine. We, we were talking about the features of uh, scalar energy. Uh, okay. Features, benefit. The, no, uh, how it presents. So wow. scalar energy is uh, circular, expensive, uh. all right? It comes out in uh, circles, okay? Uh. So it's different from Hertz wave. Ah. So, a uh, Hertzian wave is sinusoidal in nature. Ah. All right. So, this one is different because it's uh, expensive. All ah. right. Now, the interesting thing is that about 100 years ago, uh, those scalar energy is a natural energy. Ah. Okay. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Nikola Tesla. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. What he showed was that we can recreate this natural energy, uh, recreate it artificially ah. to help us. Uh -huh. You know? That will be will then be able to benefit us uh -huh. okay so because color energy has got uh, many benefits uh -huh. okay one of the health benefits is that it helps you with uh, pain relief okay what happens is that let's say you know you had a fall okay when there's an injury so uh, externally you will see a swelling and um, of course you'll feel pain okay now, you see the swelling and you feel the pain because of a process called inflammation. So, this in what happens in inflammation is that all the blood cells are very close together and then there's accumulation of fluid, uh -huh. liquid, uh -huh. right? Now, what's, what researchers found is that when you apply scalar energy, all these cells move apart. So, once these cells separate, your circulation improves. So then what happens is all the unwanted uh, debris from uh -huh. that area of injury uh -huh. Uh -huh. is taken away and all the healing factors are brought in, all the nutrition is brought in. The other thing is, like I told you earlier, because of the circular effect of the energy, so it's expensive, right, like that. Uh -huh. So it dilates the blood vessels, which also help to improve blood flow. Uh, so this is uh, the work of scalar energy, is go out like the circle, huh? That's right. Um, so once that happens, your inflammation will come down, so swelling reduce and pain improve. So in the nervous system, you see, um, because of nowadays we use so many electrical gadgets. So all the electrical gadgets are emitting a frequency, uh -huh. electromagnetic frequency. Uh -huh. So what happens is scalar energy helps us to build a protective shield around us. Okay. So it doesn't allow this unwanted shield. Uh, thing to interfere okay. with our energy. So it protects very well. It protects very well. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that scalar energy helps to promote a particular type of wave in our brain. Uh -huh. You see, our wave, our brain has got four different types of wave. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, the alpha wave, okay, one of the four, uh -huh. is the one that is uh, related to relaxation. Uh -huh. Okay. You are focused uh -huh. but relaxed. Uh -huh. Okay. So that wave is, is good for us. Uh -huh. Okay. It, so <clears throat> uh, this helps us to be more creative, more focused, more alert, but relaxed at the same okay. time. Okay. Now, you see, uh, like I told you earlier, Nikola Tesla was able to show us that we can actually recreate this uh, natural energy. Uh -huh. So using that principle, okay, uh -huh. we have taken minerals uh -huh. and bonded it and fused it at a particular formulation, uh -huh. all right, where this pendant now creates stellar energy. I see. Okay. So put everything in that pendant. Put everything in that lava. pendant from lava. Plus the minerals. Yeah, because the lava contains the minerals. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Now, so this pendant when you use has the scalar energy. Uh -huh. Now when you use it, you get the benefits of everything that we were talking oh, about. So now, other than the, other than the benefits that we talked about, the other uh, the other very uh, significant you know thing that you can see is for people who are tired uh -huh. when they use the uh, pendant, uh -huh. okay, because it's got the scalar energy. Okay. it helps to improve the energy. Uh -huh. It also improves balance and uh -huh. flexibility, uh -huh. which is important for athletes, okay. sports people. And Absun, the director of integrative medicine. Thank you very much, okay. and we will. Hopefully to meet you again. All right. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you very much. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you very much.